Hello YouTube, this is James with the Gulf Coast Clog Company. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to set the pendulum beat on a modern day Hermley clock mechanism. This mechanism, like many of Hermley's modern day floor clock mechanisms, is available in two escapement versions. The first is the deadbeat escapement, and the second is the auto beat. The main difference is how the escapement is adjusted relative to the mechanism. An automatic beat essentially sets itself when the pendulum is set into motion. A clutch mechanism attached to the verge averages the angle relative to the escape wheel. Most automatic beat mechanisms can be identified by either the model number or the characteristic knuckle-shaped gear teeth. This mechanism, a 451050H, is equipped with a deadbeat escapement requiring manual adjustment. It also has a clutch attaching the verge to the crutch lever, but is not loose enough to adjust the beat by itself. Today we'll learn how to properly adjust the pendulum beat to ensure proper running. Firstly, make sure the mechanism is as close to level as possible. Next to the mechanism is a timing computer. This is to help serve as a visual aid to setting the beat, but it's not necessary. If you listen closely and observe the impulses on the timing light of the computer, you'll hear the pendulum is not in beat. The tick and talk of the escapement should be equal in timing, like that of a metronome. This mechanism, being out of beat, has a loping or skipping sound to it, and will not run properly left as is. Notice the pendulum relative to the sound. One swing is of longer duration than the other. To adjust this, we will gently move the crutch lever towards the side of the longer impulse to achieve balance and a proper beat. Be very gentle while making these adjustments, and never force a part to adjust if it gives too much resistance. The suspension spring, from which the pendulum hangs from, is quite delicate, so please proceed with caution. For today's demonstration, I'm going to be using some handy dandy gloves, pun intended, to make sure that fingerprints don't leave any kind of residual stains on the brass parts and pieces of this clock. As you can see in here, by the computer and also by the sound. The pendulum swing going this way is of a longer duration than the pendulum swing going that way. Maybe the short beat and the long beat going this way. You'll notice the computer, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, is about 80% out of beat which is not good for the overall long-term running of the clock. It may stop if it runs into any kind of small issues down the road. So we're going to make an adjustment on this mechanism and attempt to set the beat to something a little bit more stable to keep the clock running long-term. I'll grab the pendulum towards the top where it attaches to what's called the suspension leader. I'll move it to the point of resistance. I think we've met right there. Let's go ahead and let the pendulum swing and hear what we've done. When the pendulum is first set into motion, it'll have a larger the nominal swing what the clock will actually end up keeping up on its own. We need to wait a moment for it to settle down to hear what the actual beat is. Sometimes you can kind of slow the pendulum swing down to get a better idea. You can still hear that the pendulum swing is longer in this direction than it is in the other direction. You can see on the computer, reduce the error from 80% down to about 20%. We can still get it closer than that. Here we go for adjustment number two. Move this over. Just to the point where we can start to feel it resist. I think that may have been too far right there.
as you can see, adjustment number two got just more of the same. If anything, we made just a minor adjustment here to the pendulum beam. It sounds a whole lot better than when it did when it's 80% error, but still isn't quite far enough. The pendulum swing and impulse is still longer on this side than it is the other. Ever so slightly now, because we're getting so close. And this is the sound that we're looking for right here. As you can hear, the pendulum beat has got a very even impulse from left swing to the right swing. see on the computer to the right that there is a natural variation between the beat. As you can see in here, the pendulum beat is nearly perfect. You'll notice on the computer the variation from 0% error to 3% error. Every single clock has got imperfect. There's no such thing as a perfect circle. So every single clock is going to have just a natural variation. On older clocks you'll see a much larger variation if there's any damage to the escape wheel teeth, it'll further throw that number out of whack. But now, you can hear the sound, you can see the impulse light. This thing has got an absolutely nearly perfect beat. So after, I think it was four adjustments now, we've got the beat pretty much all set to go. At this point, the clock will run very reliably for a long time. Final adjustment. Now that the pendulum settled down, we've got about 10% error. We're gonna try to see if we can get to actually a little bit closer than that even. I'm feeling the point of resistance here, and I'm just barely moving this pendulum over. Let's find out where that lays. Well, as you can see here, we've pushed it too far, and now we have to go back and adjust the other way. Notice it's similar to hanging a picture on a wall. You're trying to find that perfect level. And now we're back to where the beat. Longer on the other side. Very, very small adjustment makes a big difference. Barely pushing it past that point of resistance. And yet still, we have a little bit of air going back towards the left side. I'm going to have to make one last adjustment here, hopefully. Maybe a couple more. Don't expect it to be perfect on your first adjustment. It may take a couple times on either side. Let's see where this lays. And ask for inch and it went a mile. Move this back the other way. Ever so slightly. It's better, but you can still hear that this side still slightly out of beat so we're going to try to move it back over just a tad try to get it as close as we can 10 percent actually it probably would run fairly decently at 10 percent error and now we're back to square one not quite we're at about 15 percent error let's move this back over just a tad Still have some air going back the other way. 
I'm going to keep adjusting this till we get it absolutely perfect. You can see here, after about a dozen adjustments or so, we've got the beat pretty well stable where we want it to be. The pendulum has settled down. The beat sounds even. Um, almost all of you aren't going to have a computer like this here at home, uh, but this right here can show you that the sound that you hear, the evenness of the tick and the talk, correlated up here on the computer which is hovering right around 0% error. And this is exactly where we want this to be. So this clock is going to do very well. It's just been recently serviced. The beat's now set and uh, it's ready to roll. Thank you guys so much for watching.